Hi everyone, this is James at Couch and Associates, and in this video's MarTech tip, we'll be covering how to create a form within the Oracle Responses Interact platform. In this example, we'll be asking our audience if they prefer to receive weekly or monthly emails and using a form to ingest that information. Let's get started. From the home screen, click the forms icon and either create a new form or create a form from existing. We'll create a new form. And here you'll be asked to input your basic details like the form name, folder, description, and recipient locale. Note that the name must be unique. When we click next, we'll see that our form name has changed and we want to select our list, which will define not only the destination of the form data, but also what information can be pre-filled or pre-populated in the form. Then we will specify how our match will happen between the form data that's coming in and the existing database. So here we'll select email address as one single field, but we could select to match on two separate fields. Then we specify what action should be taken when there is and when there is not a match against your database using the criteria that we just defined. So we'll leave the default in here that will update the existing record if there is a match and we'll create a new record if there is not a match. Next, you can specify the default permission for the opt-in or opt-out for newly added records. So we'll leave this as opt-out and net, then you specify the opt-in and opt-out status values that come through the form if you're hoping to update the email, mobile, or postal permission fields. So you can use things like one or zero or I or O that represent the opt-in and opt-out. You can do the same thing on the email format values where perhaps we use an H to represent the HTML email preference and T to represent the text email preference. Once we click next, we have the ability to add additional personalization data. So if there's a related data source that we want to include, but we'll leave this blank for now. And next you specify the message details. So here you select your form document. So I'm gonna select the form document that I've already created. And this form document needs to con contain the appropriate form elements, including the form tag, the input fields, as well as a submit button. Next, if you want to include dynamic content within your form document, you can do that here, but we'll leave this blank for now. And finally, within the fourth section, we have the form settings, including the form rules. So here you can specify the destination that the form submitter goes to and we'll select a URL and input our home page. Then you have the option to trigger an email to the submitter, trigger custom events, populate supplemental tables, and email recipients with the entry data when they submit the form. Next you can specify the date in which you want the form to auto close and the redirect URL that the submitter will land on when the form is closed. I'll leave this set to no auto close. Next, you can specify additional text replacement fields to be used for personalization. Again, we'll leave this blank for now. Finally, in the deploy section, you can enable the form to accept responses which will allow you to preview the form, look at the form usage, and a live report of the form. Within the form usage section, you'll see details on how to link the form to enable personalization, details on how to submit this form from externally hosted content, and a blank form URL, meaning a non-personalized version of the form page. Okay, that wraps up this video on how to create a form in Oracle Responses Interact. We've included links 
to more information and formal documentation on the Oracle Responses platform in the description below. If you enjoyed this content, please be sure to click on the like button and subscribe. We really appreciate your support. Consider clicking on the bell to stay up to date on the latest videos from our team. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time with another MarTech tip.